TP number 30. Yes, Three zero. number 30, a big one. It's a big one for us. Very big for me because Matthew Brennan, you've seen him before. I'm not sure which one. I think 26. 26. Yeah, he, one of our research fellows joining us in August yep. at Perio Urology, and I'm really happy to have him coming in. Can't wait to have him here. Couldn't be more excited. And he's going to be the one that's going to answer the question today because it's a great, like, complicated question, and uh, it addresses a wide population of people that we implant. So the question, go ahead. Sure. We had a question from a group out in Canada uh, pertaining to spinal cord patients. A large number of these patients will have erections that are insufficient for penetration or completion. And their question was, what is available for these patients? How does it pertain to the penile implant? And what can be done to maximize their quality of life? So when it comes to spinal cord injuries, there's a lot of complexity uh, based upon the level, the completeness, and the time since injury as it pertains to erectile function. Many of these men will preserve some erectile function, whether it's psychogenic or reflexogenic, that being responsive to some sort of tactile stimuli. However, in up to 80% of these men, they require some sort of treatment. There's minimal response from oral medications in this patient subset. So the typical treatments have been high dose injection therapy and penile implants. And from a historical Which perspective, implant? Which well, implant? historically, it had been described as a malleable implant. And really, the main reason for that being to facilitate the placement of a condom catheter. That's right. That would have been our friend, Dr. Carrion, the guy who developed the first implant. Uh, however, there is a move towards the three-piece PNL implant in these patients. They can be placed safely. Uh, the patient and partner can learn to activate and they have a high correlation with uh, good satisfaction post-operatively. Furthermore, you can still place a condom catheter if needed, but the big thing is, is that you do not have constant pressure on the tissues, thus decreasing the risk of erosion and future infection down the road. These patients can be deactivated and enter into more of a flaccid state. Um, although, as we had mentioned, you can still use a condom catheter if needed. So that addresses our patients with uh, spinal cord injuries, and now you know why he's here. And he'll be here for a long time. So Looking welcome to, to Burrito Urology, now yeah. Burrito Brennan, and I can't wait to see you for 31 next week. Take care. See you then.